someone says to you that you can rent to own when you can't afford to get into home ownership today in today's real estate market, they are doing you a huge disservice. That is a blatant lie. If you cannot afford a monthly payment on the type of property that you want to own, you will never qualify for a mortgage on that property. And we are not in that type of a business. So it's really important to, to address that out of the gate because that's probably the, the, the biggest expectation of what rent to own is. And it's unfortunately the biggest letdown at the same time because we cannot fulfill that. What we can do is we can um, assist people in fixing their credit challenges and we can buy them more time to establish job history. We can buy them more time to pay down that car loan um, and level out their GDS and TDS, which right now might be a little bit imbalanced according to the bank's very limited, very strict lens. Um, we can provide some guidance on how to uh, manage money so that more is going towards, um, you know, building up for closing costs. A lot of people are so focused on saving up for that down payment. They forget about the fact that you need closing costs. They forget about the fact that they're going to need to have some money set aside for maintenance and repairs on a home because the landlord isn't going to be around anymore. And certainly the bank, when you have a mortgage, isn't going to come fix your leaky faucet or unclog your toilets. So all of these things require a shift, reprioritization of your, your income and your resources. That's the rent-to-own process's strength. 